we not only conflate what happens face to face, but we conflate what we want to do with our time and how it affects us with kids. And it's a completely different situation because their brains are still forming and essentially we've evolved for face-to-face -face interaction. There's no such thing as a child learning language from a machine. Okay, it just doesn't happen. You, you know, it used to be that, you, you know, they would say like, you know, put your kid in front of TV and they'll learn how to learn, you know, they'll learn how to speak, whatever it is. You know, essentially, language is there so you can communicate. If you can't communicate with someone, there's no point in learning it, really. And um, children get this right away. So the focus um, for children, it's extremely attractive, and especially because they're changing stimuli very, very frequently. Um, it's very appealing to young kids. Um, but it would be like, you know, it's, it's a fun treat once in a while, but, you know, would you feed your kid mashed up chicken nuggets breakfast, noon, and night? And that's what many parents are doing. I mean, you know, once in a while it's okay. And I think certainly, you know, there are times when it's really helpful. Like, that's, I spend a lot of time in airport lounges, and believe me, when kids have to wait endlessly, and it, they have no control, and the parents have no control, it's, it's great to have an iPad. Um, but I would say, using them in the classroom unless you're really well trained in deploying the technology in creative ways doesn't add much. We don't know what the downstream effects are but we can extrapolate from things like um, what we know about television and video games. It's too early to know but there, you know, there have been lawsuits about so-called educational apps which are the highest growing market right now and essentially there's lawsuits because there's absolutely no proof at all that they're educational. They don't improve language, they don't improve fine motor skills, there's no proof that they're beneficial. I don't think there's any proof that they're harmful at this point either. I think what we do know is that um, screen time, especially for the youngest kids, is correlated with very bad outcomes. And so, long term, so that, you know, the more television, and, and it's um, what we call a dose-response effect, meaning the more screen time you have, the worse the outcome. So the more screen time before the age of five, usually in, say, preschool years, the worse that child adjusts the school, the lower his vocabulary rates, um, the more behavior attentional problems he or she might have.